Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to do another book finds review for the month of June 2023. And I have this box here. So let's get started. I'm just going to pull them out down here. See if we can get some better off opticals. Okay, so one of the first books I got, Short History of Africa. Uh, this is uh, published by Penguin the African Library. These were, I believe, published for within the British Empire in the 1960s. And so this specific book, let's see, was published in Great Britain. Okay, so this one actually came from Great Britain, but sometimes they'll come from South Africa or Australia or otherwhere. And just covers a brief, uh, concise history of the continent. So that's the first book right here. I got another uh, primary source, uh, a facsimile or a reproduction, uh, Gerald of Wales. This is one of the historical accounts from the 1100s. And it talks about, you know, this uh, abbot, this priest, he goes through Wales and describes what he sees and probably works at different dioceses and whatnot. So this is pretty cool. Here is a classic right here, a compilation of classics, I should say, of Icelandic literature. The Sagas of Icelanders. And this is the deluxe edition of Penguin's A Cow. Very nice book. And it covers all the famous things that have been in uh, TV shows and even before that, you know, the, the tales of, uh, you know, Leif Erikson and Eric the Red and, and just further on, even like La Ragnar Lothbrok or I, you know, People like that, so pretty cool. Pretty cool to actually read the source material. Okay, here's a book, and I'm not entirely sure the the quality of it, but I imagine it's pretty good. It's John Jay, The Making of a Revolutionary, Volume One, and the author is Richard B. Morris. And I believe this is just the first home of many of the notable New York uh, founding father who helped a great deal into, uh, you know, with the Second Continental Congress and everything so forth. So, pretty nice book. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. This one is a biography of Marcel Proust, uh, who's famous for the In Search of Lost Time, uh, that series. He's kind of... Uh, in the Impressionist sort of age, and I guess further, a little bit further post-Impressionist, I should say. And then he, like, you know, I, I don't know what they classify him in literature, I'm not an expert on this, but I think he's data, maybe? But, uh, yeah, he was a big name back in the 1910s, 20s, and so forth, so. And I believe he had a tragic death. So, interesting biography of a interesting person from France. Okay. This one's pretty cool. It's a uh, intellectual life of colonial New England. Oh, this way, and uh, it's by Samuel Morris Morrison, and he was a uh, he served in the Second World War, and then he ended up becoming, I believe, the one of the official historians of the Second World War for the U.S. government. So, very interesting guy. He wrote a lot of different things about New England and naval history in particular. Okay. Uh, this one was pretty interesting. I took a like gamble on this because I'm not entirely sure of the contents, but uh, this one is the letters of Captain Dreyfus to his wife. And Dreyfus was at a famous scandal in the turn of the century, fin de siècle, uh, France, where he was basically framed for a crime he did not commit, and that had to do in part because of anti-Semitism. And so supposedly. This is like letters to his wife while he's on trial and perhaps went to jail. So, pretty cool. This uh, volume was published in 1899. It has some wear to it, but very cool. And here's some photographs of that. Very nice. Now, here I have a set of, let's see, seven books. So it's not the complete set. Um, but they're for a Confederate military history, and I got, let's see, got these, let's see here. Take there, yeah. 
So we got South Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Texas, and Florida, Louisiana, Arkansas, Georgia, Maryland, and uh, West Virginia. And the South after the Civil War and, and the Confederate Navy. And so these basically go through, um, you know, the different aspects of the war, kind of battles they win, equipment they had. And these are reproductions by the Blue and Gray Press. So these are pretty cool overall, especially if you're into Civil War history or even uh, postbellum stuff. And then I also have, let's jump over here. Yep. So this is really cool. This is abridgment, of course. It is the complete war memoirs of Charles de Gaulle. And he was basically the head of the resistance and he was in Africa when uh, Vichy France came about. And so this is pretty cool to hear it from, uh, you know, a guy who's very controversial, especially after his reign after the Second World War. His, his leadership, I guess, in the democracy of the Fourth Republic. So pretty cool. Cool stuff. Uh, let's see. A couple more here. I got uh, Rousselot by Hélène uh, Belloc. I apologize for that. And uh, he was uh, one of the major uh, cardinals, advisors to the French government under not Louis the Fourteenth, but I think his father, Louis the Thirteenth. Yeah, something like that. He 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 was like a major figure, and I believe he had a dispute with the queen at the time in her faction, and then they ended up, you know, infighting, and then eventually you get Louis the Fourteenth who becomes the Sun King, and that was kind of like a big deal because he reigned like 60, 65 years, so a very long time. And that kind of led to the events of um, his son reigning for a short time, and then Louis XVI, and Louis XVI, as you all are well aware, I'm sure, is the one who was executed by um, the Garons and the Matun and all those groups, and then uh, Pierre Robespierre, and um, Danton and all those different individuals and they had their sort of French Revolution so a little bit a big of a topic to get into here but yeah so this guy was definitely important in the governments that preceded all of that uh, let's see this one's interesting it's the Battle of Kongsha by Donald Keane a very famous uh, Japanese um, Japanese uh, translator uh, and I believe these are the plays of, of let's see yeah Chikamatsu who was Chikamatsu was kind of like a famous uh, Japanese uh, playwright kind of like a Shakespeare type figure and so it has like all sorts of interesting things going on and uh, I was fortunate because I got this at a a very good price, which was free. <laughs> so, 1951 volume, very nice, and it's actually a first printing, which is pretty outstanding. So, very nice volume here. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then my final set here is the Hitch history of Portugal. And let me see if I can put this in the view better. Yep. Okay. Cool. So, history of Portugal, and this is by a guy named. Let's see. A. H. D. Oliveira Marquez, and he is a Portuguese writer too, so that's pretty cool. And I also got a good deal on this one too. And I think they're very nice from Colombia. And each volume it talks about from Lusitana to Empire and the First Empire to Corporate State. So very nice. Okay, everybody. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, interest. In any of these books, so feel free to check the links below because they're going to be a link to my eBay. Or if you just have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.